Which processor brand should you be looking at in the mid-range market? AMD Ryzen 5 or Intel's Core FF? In this post, we compare Intel's FF series and AMD Ryzen 5 series to help you determine which option is right for you. When it comes to Intel vs AMD for gaming, the battle often takes place in the mid-range. AMD Ryzen 5 and Intel's Core IF of lineups host some of the best gaming CPU in each generation. This is because they tend to offer an unrivaled balance of gaming performance on the one hand and a reasonable price on the other. High-end CPU aren't usually recommended just for gaming unless money is of no concern, because your money is often better spent on one of the best graphics cards which should net you better performance than a CPU upgrade. AMD Ryzen 5 and Intel Core if if CPU are great in this respect because they usually hit that sweet spot that occurs just before diminishing price performance returns come into play, making them the perfect choice for gaming. The middle of AMD Zen 3, 5000 series range, Intel's Rocket Lake, 11th gen range, and Intel's Alder Lake, 12th gen range is more inviting for gaming than the low or high end of these ranges. For AMD this means the Ryzen 5 5600X, and for Intel this means either the Core IF of 11600K or the Core IF of 12600K. We're going to focus on the former Intel chip because the latter's price and stock levels haven't yet settled, and there aren't many 12th gen motherboards retailing at present. AMD Ryzen 5 Overview AMD Ryzen 5 5600X at the market in the final quarter of 2020, and it's still holding strong. Retailing for about $300, this 6-core, 12-thread CPU offers a great balance of multi-threaded power and single-threaded grunt, with a base clock of 3.7 GHz and a boost clock of 4.6 GHz. It can handle any moderate workload with ease, and it's a dab hand at gaming, too. Being able to keep up with the most powerful graphics cards on the market without bottlenecking them, even topping many of the gaming benchmarks for the CPU generation before Alder Lake hit the market. The Ryzen 5 5600X costs more than Intel's 11th gen competing options, but price differences aren't always what they seem. For instance, while this chip costs more than the IF of 11400F or IF of 11600K, the IF of 11400F stock cooler isn't great and the IF of 11600K doesn't come with a cooler at all. And don't forget that the best gaming coolers often let you squeeze out extra performance from your chip. Intel Core IF of Overview Intel's Core IF of 11400F is the standout chip of its Rocket Lake generation, but whether you should opt for it depends on whether you're comfortable and have a motherboard that will support, unlocking this chip's power limits. At stock settings, this $157 MSRP CPU boasts 6 cores, 12 threads, a base clock of 2.6 GHz and a boost clock of 4.4 GHz with an all-core boost of up to 4. These numbers don't scream competitive, but the magic happens when you unlock the core IF of 11400F's power limits in the BIOS. When these limits are lifted, this chip comes close to the performance of the more expensive Intel Core IF of 11600K and AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Bear in mind, though, that it lacks integrated graphics, so you'll have to run a graphics card alongside it. Moving on to the Intel Core IF of 11600K. The CPU was almost a standout chip of the Rocket Lake generation, but not quite, thanks to the IF of 11400F. But even though the IF of 11400F exists, the IF of 11600K is still very competitive. Retailing for about $260, this 6-core, 12-thread chip offers a 3.9 GHz base clock and a 4.9 GHz boost clock. Its clock multiplier is unlocked, too meaning it can be manually overclocked if it sits in an overclocking-compatible motherboard. Getting good returns from manual overclocks is very difficult with Intel's 11th generation, though, so unless you're a real overclocking enthusiast, it's probably better to save your energy. Intel Core IF of 11400F – Best Value The best value chip from the AMD Ryzen 5 and Intel Core IF of Bunch is definitely the Intel Core IF of 11400F. For $157 MSRP, this chip is cheaper than the Intel Core IF of 11600K and much cheaper than the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Its performance measures only a sliver behind these two more expensive CPU. But there's a caveat. It only performs so well when its power limits are unlocked in the BIOS, which essentially gives it an easy all-core over... This means you'll need a motherboard that allows its CPU power limits to be unlocked, and that has a good VRM and you'll probably also need a third-party CPU cooler that can handle the heat. But, providing you have the motherboard, 
and cooler for it, and providing you have a graphics card running alongside it to compensate for its lack of integrated graphics. The Core IF of 11400F is unrivaled in terms of price performance. AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, best for gaming, the best mid-range CPU for gaming at the moment, not including Intel's 12th gen, seems to be the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. I say seems because there are slim deltas between the gaming performances of all three of these mid-range CPU, and these deltas will likely almost disappear on higher resolutions when paired with anything other than an NVIDIA RTX 3090. In fact, the same can be said for any current-gen mid-range or high-end CPU. They're all roughly equal in terms of gaming performance, but slight differences still count. Intel Core IF of 11600K, best out of the box. Despite the great value of the Core IF of 11400 and the stellar gaming performance of the Ryzen 5 5600X, it's not all hopeless for the Core IF of 11600K. For one, with the IF of 11600K, you get great out-of-the-box performance that beats the stock limited IF of 11400F by a large margin, and that still beats it by a smaller margin when the IF of 11400F is running at full power. We see similar performance deltas in multi-threaded tasks. To compare it to the Ryzen 5 5600X, while it loses by a slim margin in gaming and by a bigger margin in multi-threaded workloads, the IF of 11600K holds its own and is more than justified by its cheaper price tag. This is only exacerbated by the 5600X's stock issues which have often led to the Red Team's chip costing even more than intended. Intel Core IF of 12600K, most promising. Intel's Core IF of 12600K is the most promising chip on the market at the moment. Its new architecture which mashes together P and E cores works surprisingly well giving us a mid-range CPU with 16 threads that beats its competition handily in productivity tasks, and only a little less handily in games. Intel's 12th gen platform also offers a great deal with DDR5, PCIe 5.0, and XMP 3.0. Unfortunately, it's too soon to give this chip a full verdict, because pricing and stock fluctuations are likely to occur, and a full range of compatible motherboards will likely only hit the market next year. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.